Give us a sense about what their strategy is. There seems to be con some confusion. Yeah, I think the Democrats want to make clear to their voters that they are the party of impeachment and that they will make or break any rule they need to to impeach this president. The problem is um, currently uh, what the law requires to impeach any president is a vote of the full House of Representatives on a resolution for articles of impeachment. The problem for the Democrats is they've tried that three times and they've failed uh, three times. So today they want to change the rules to keep impeachment alive. Remember, Bill, um, this started as the president was going to be impeached uh, by collusion and conspiracy because he was committing treason with the Russians. Uh, that failed, and then it became impeachment by obstruction, and Bob Mueller was going to breathe life into that and Terry stay at his hotels, or really anything that they can to, again, satisfy um, their voters that they're going to do whatever they have to by any means necessary to get rid of this okay, president. Put a, put a fine point. Clinton impeachment hearing. So he again wants to change the rules uh, because the rules need to be changed to get Donald Trump. And that's really what's happening today. Okay, uh, Lindsey Graham was talking with Sean Hannity last night. Uh, he insists that the IG Michael Horowitz will appear before a Senate committee. Here's his comment from last night. The Senate Judiciary Committee will call Mr. Horowitz and he will testify under oath about his report. We're going to declassify as much as we can, including the FISA warrant applications. I'm going to give you all the information uh, that was in the system about how suspicious people were of uh, Christopher Steele, how biased he was. So just to summarize for our viewers, apparently there's a memo that shows the UK government warned the outgoing Obama administration and the incoming Trump administration uh, to be wary of the credibility of Christopher Steele. Have you seen that memo? I haven't seen that memo. And remember, Bill, that I've seen most of the classified documents, um, as many as any other member of Congress. And, and why it's important, and viewers understand that, is, is Christopher Steele and his memo were the basis, the central piece of evidence presented by the Obama administration in October of 2016 to get that very first FISA application to spy on the Trump campaign. We knew early on that Christopher Steele had been hired by Hillary Clinton and the DNC, um, but what we didn't know and what we're learning is that apparently the British government was warning Obama administration officials that in fact he was untrustworthy. It's important because Obama administration officials were the ones that verified his trustworthiness to the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court. So it's really important uh, that we see that and find out what the Obama administration so, knew. So and just knew on it. that final point here, what, what do you think we learn from that? Maybe Horowitz testifies, maybe we get deeper in the investigation. But what are the American people going to ultimately learn? Well, what they're going to find out, that would be a central piece of evidence that would really say, was the Obama administration targeting the Trump campaign? Were they trying to prevent Donald Trump from getting elected or removing him once he was elected? Um, and it, the inspector general should appear not just before the Senate Judiciary Committee, but why isn't he before the House Judiciary Committee? We haven't even had any discussions about that. If impeachment is supposed to start in the House Judiciary Committee, why isn't Michael Horowitz coming to our committee? He should be. Oh. John Radcliffe, we'll see if that happens and when. Thank you, sir, for your time today. You Let's bet. get back inside that hearing room. Thanks, Bill. We'll continue for some time. Thank you, sir, for coming on today. We'll, we'll certainly keep monitoring that as well. Yes. All right.